Hey Aries, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. To my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. You guys know um, I forgot my stand in England and I've come to Paris, so um, you have to forgive all the different angles I'm doing at the moment, but you know, I'm glad for those who have been with me the last three years, you guys will be um, very understanding that, you know, life happens. <laughs> it's the real deal here. Um, so I'll leave information on how to contact me for personal readings in the description box. And currently I'm running a competition uh, and you can find the information in the community section of the channel. So go ahead and subscribe, check out the community section and it's for a £200 gift voucher. So go ahead and check that out there. Should be at the top. Um, the cards that have come out for you, Aries. Past life, relationship, finances and career and true love. Um, the thing about past life relationship, right? Could very well be a karmic relationship that um, could have left you in ruins, really. Um, I feel like there is a true love coming towards you, but first of all, we have this karmic love that has maybe been a catalyst in your life to change everything, finances, um, the way you love, the way you are, your growth, your healing, those sorts of things. Um, but there's this true love in your future here. Um, but first, there's this past life relationship to get over. So let's have a look what that's about here. Um, hopefully good news for you guys. Um, you guys will know my little granddaughter is an Aries. So let's see what we have going on. Princess of Wands. Um, <laughs> beautiful Aries card. Um, so this is something initiating. Um, this is something getting that flame behind it, that passion behind it and going after your dreams. If that's the case right now, it's a good time to start or change your career path here. This is somebody communicating. Um, it is on the past life card at the moment. Like I said, I do usually do the overhead view of the cards, but right now this is what we're working with. <laughs> Tower, it is going to be a surprise that this person from your past is coming back here they're coming back to communicate and there they go in my uh, throat chakra they definitely want to talk to you here um i feel like it's going to be quite a shock to you that this cycle is not over you feel like well i'm over them so it's over it's not over here it's not over by any sort of means there is true love attached to this catalyst but this is not over um it almost feels like something's just about to begin again so hopefully if you see this and you're like yeah that happened 10 years ago i'm over it um this is true love initiating towards you getting in touch um falling in love all of a sudden um there's that all of a sudden um this is the Knight of Swords here, and this is somebody quickly acting. Um, it feels more like reacting. And I would tell you, don't react, act, Aries. Um, this person might even be trying to get you to um, react to their messages, trying to pull you into their life again by, you know, maybe even saying things you don't want to hear or, you know, don't want to talk to them. But it's like they push your buttons so that you react and speak to them. So be aware of that. Um, remember this it came to bring this change but you know the change is usually for the better you're not supposed to be dragged down by people especially when you're moving up let's see here six of pentacles something's tied to your money here so if you've got a business with this person or this person might have even been taking money from you or giving to more than one person and you found out about it it made you change your life path your career everything and that's what i mean about a spiritual catalyst it really brought the tower down it brought you down it changed everything about you you will not be the same person after a tower moment here so right now the focus should be on your finances and career this person might come and throw something in the mix to distract you 
my advice here is don't be distracted by this person. You can communicate with them, um, but they might be being quite reckless with your energy. So don't give your energy away so freely, okay? Ten of Pentacles, you have good money energy coming in. And I kind of feel like this person might be coming back for your money. Is, is this person like a user for your money or something here? It could even be a family member with it being the Ten of Pentacles, somebody who's using you for money that way. Um, you know, playing on your heartstrings there, like, hey, I'll give you it back soon or something like that. Um, and they just keep taking and taking and they will if you keep allowing it to ace the pentacles. Um, so there's a lot going on around your finances. Some of you might have even lost a job or, you know, have really bad finances at this time. And that's why your focus is needed to be there rather than be on this relationship. But that doesn't mean that relationship won't try to pull you in. No matter what it is, family, friends, romantic, it will pull you in. Don't feel like, you know what, I'm not bothered about money. Because um, this is like what you retire on. Ten of Pentacles is retirement money, what we leave to our family maybe, or what we live on when we're not working. Um, so don't think I'm not bothered about money because we need it, right? It's a source of energy, um, give and take in life. We wish we didn't need, you know, that sort of thing, but we do. So Eva, this is a great time for you to change and start on your life path and get those goals sorted out. And then this true love offer can come in, right? It is all tied together. People just think, no, I just want to focus on um, my money, uh, my love life, and then what happens is you get into relationships where you're in this struggle, love, um, or you know you're fighting about money rather than actually living the relationship, and it ain't great either. It's better to be single in that case. Five of Wands and the Chariot. Then this is what I was saying. Excuse me. The ambulance definitely wanted to come past, didn't it, with the Chariot right now? Um, the wind is open, so nothing I can do about it. It's really hot here. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, um, this is an emergency. They're going to come towards you like an ambulance with the, all sirens blaring, all this fighting, all this chaos they want to bring into your life to sort of disrupt it. But this is something you can overcome. It's a small challenge, um, but it's saying that, you know, they're going to make it look messy. They're going to make it look messy. You can overcome this by taking a new approach, a different approach to how you would have in the past dealt with them, right? Because now you've been through the tower, you're not the same person, so you won't deal with them the same way, right? So if you can avoid this where they're trying to be messy with you, trying to bring drama into your life, your reward is this Ace of Pentacles, your opportunity to stand firm, um, Get your money right. Ten of pentacles, six of pentacles is good money energy. Um, so it might be that you find yourself moving to a different job, uh, buying a house, buying a new car here. And all that will line up with love. This romantic true love offer here, a new direction is needed. What do I say? Eight of cups. It's walk away. Walk away from this messy behavior that people are trying to bring you into. Because they will keep trying to drag you down, Aries. They don't want you to shine, but you should not dim to fit in. This is like owning your own business or something here. Um, kindness to others, but self-nurturing. Um, you want to take on, at this time, logical rather than, you know, hard emotional actions. This person is a good business leader, good company to work for. Um, a good offer to receive from this person. So I feel like, you know, when you walk away from all this messy energy here, five of wands, you know, eight of cups, tower card, all that, when you walk away from that, look what you're walking towards. Uh, the chariot, the ace of pentacles, true love. So don't let people you know, confuse you with this. We've got all this history when this is your future. Good luck, Aries.